Hey guys, <laughs> look, my hair got mowed and um, it's quite short. I'll probably like it in about a week or so. First off, I just want to quickly say that this chair that I'm on is in definite due need of replacement because I am just sitting here and I'm wonking around. Wonk, wonk, wonk. That's how, that's how wonky it is. I'm moving like this. Like seriously, I'll take, I'll show you guys. This chair. Wah, 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 wah. This bottom part, it shouldn't move, but look at, look how, look how much it's moving. This is pretty much the only part you can tighten, which is this, the sitting area of the chair, but not the, not the base. Wonky Arama. So yeah, I will gladly accept any donations to the Get Johnny Pizza 7 a new chair fund. And um, the link will be on the sidebar. <laughs> just, just joking, because there's no such thing as a link, because there's no such thing as a donation, because there's better um, charities and organizations to donate to than getting me a new chair, because I can surely afford it myself when I can, because um, I'm rich now. Um, anyway, more about that later. So anyway, in the last couple of weeks, I've been to a couple of gigs with my friends. And on the 21st of August, we went and saw the Audrey's, which, we're all right, I'm not really into that kind of music, but thank you, Donna, for the free ticket. However, on the Thursday we just had, I went and saw Birdie Blackman, and she's an amazing singer. She doesn't sound so good on my actual video footage, but live, she's amazing. And if you haven't heard of her, I should advise to check out um, Heart, Thump, and Birds of Prey. Really cool songs. The backup was a band called The Hungry Kids of Hungary, and they were so cool. I only knew one song of theirs, which was Scattered Diamonds, and they just, they rocked the place out. Not to mention that the keyboarder was quite a hottie. Oh my god. Um, I think all the girls and a lot of the guys were swooning all over that guy. He was just, um, bouncing around with a smile and singing and... I, I, can't, I think I fell in love. And so last night I went to a 90s themed party, which wasn't as bad as the Ugly Jumper party, but you know, um, it was a bit of a hard theme because it sort of crossed over from the 80s and 90s was sort of quite recent, so it was kind of hard to define what would be genuine sort of 90s. And so, you know, we sort of went with the baggy jeans, the, the sideway cap. Ah! Yeah, and um, my friends James, Brad and... Matt, they came over beforehand and we, as a collective group, actually looked like we were a boy band from the early 90s. Um, I want it that way. <laughs> yeah, either that or we were just the Wiggles who had been smoking too much pot. What else has been happening? Tell us, Johnny. Tell us. Okay, okay, just hold on to you niggas. I just want to tell everyone that I got a pay rise. Yeah, I'm rolling in the money, rolling in the money. I'm just making that song up because it doesn't exist. So yeah, I got a pay rise and the manager pulled me into his office and he goes, John, look, you've been doing such an amazing job and we think that your efforts should not go unnoticed and we appreciate it. So we are gonna give you a pay rise. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. No, I did not say that. I was just like, oh my God, I appreciate that a lot because you know, if I said that, they'd probably go, oh, I think we're not gonna give you one anymore. I'm just trying to think like, is Actually, you know what? This is probably going to be quite a short vlog because I don't have a whole lot to update you guys on. Like, I just have a lot of little random itsy bitsy bits um, to string together, which kind of, you know, I guess I kind of do that anyway, but um, I don't know. For instance, at work, when we get our ink plates delivered, I have to unpackage them, unpackage them, unwrap them. And um, they always have like brown paper, like amazing brown paper that I am just totally in love with brown paper. You don't understand. I guess it's also just because when you like write on it with like even a black sharpie marker, it's the contrast between the black sharpie marker and the brown paper and the graininess. It's just amazing. I love it. So yeah, I've been collecting them. I've, every time I unwrap these plates, um, I take the brown piece of paper and I roll it up and I bring it home. So yeah, I've been collecting a lot because I've got about this much. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, that's random. Johnny, what would you use this brown paper for? I'm glad you asked because you know, as a graphic designer, it's best to have all these different materials on site. And so if you have an idea or like a visual project, imagination thing, conjure up in your head and you go, oh my God, I gotta do this. You've got them and you can put them and produce it right there at that point in time. And you know, I think lately I've been thinking of brown paperness and um, organicness. Yeah, um, you could use it for graphic design. The other thing is that you could use them as like wrapping up presents for people 
and I think there's a shine in my hair. That's that, that there's a shine in my hair. Okay, you know I, I I'm sure you guys are gonna go. What well, you you gonna shine anything in your hair? What is that? Well, I don't know. I think it just might be just the light reflecting on that piece of hair. Okay, okay. Sorry, obviously I didn't have my daily dose of calm pills. Wow, that's that's an amazing riveting vlog. Um, brown paper and um, artists that you probably haven't heard of. Um, cool. Um, okay. Well, I will um be back next week. Yeah. So uh, bye bye and um goodbye.